Hi everyone, welcome back to Incatino. My name is Nick, if you didn't know, um, and today I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, a bit more kind of health lifestyle related with kind of a little bit of a story time moment. So I'm going to be doing and putting on my face a three ingredient face mask, which you can do with ingredients at home. Obviously it's kind of a little bit difficult at the moment to be shopping. I know that a lot of the restrictions that were in place with COVID-19 have been let go and loosened, but it doesn't mean that we want to go out that much. Not all of us anyway. So I just have a bowl of mashed avocado here. I'm just holding it to camera. It's about half an avocado because I've got a big face. <laughs> and I'm going to be adding into it some, this is raw organic apple cider vinegar with the mother. You could probably just use apple cider vinegar, but this has, it's unfiltered and unpasteurized, so it's got like extra goodness in there. And also some Manuka honey. So I'll just explain what everything's doing really quick before we get into the video. Uh, the apple cider vinegar is going to act for a toner on your skin. The honey is antibacterial if you have blemishes or spots like me sometimes. And the avocado has fats and oils in it so it's going to put some moisture back in your skin. So this is kind of hitting three bases there like blemishes, moisturization and toning. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to add in about two teaspoons of the apple cider vinegar and mix that together. It feels very weird that I'm about to put this on my face because usually if I'm mashing avocado, I'm going to be eating it. About a teaspoon of the honey, you don't need much. This is just some um, kind of affordable priced Manuka honey. Obviously I'm not going to use like the 40 pound stuff on my face. I'm gonna eat that, but it's good. So about a teaspoon of the honey and just mix that together. And here's the consistency you're looking for. Just very paste-like so that you can put it on your face, obviously. It's, oh, it's odd. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. So I just have a little spatula here that came with some moisturizer. I'm just going to apply this onto the skin. And here we go. I guess kind of bottoms up, but not really. So obviously this is a kind of step away from recipes, but it kind of is a recipe. And I just wanted to do something that was a little bit different. It's um, still health related and it's, three food items, so it's <laughs> it's kind of related to cooking, right? I mean, honey, vinegar, and avocado, I'm pretty sh sure a lot of us have in the house already. And if you've got an avocado that's going bad, or you don't really know what to do with because it's gone a little bit brown, this would be perfect for that. Just mix it with a bit of honey and vinegar and not spill it all over yourself. I should have brought a napkin. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh no, I'm melting. I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to have to change after this. It feels very nice going on the skin. It's actually really cooling. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just stuff that you have around the house and easy to do and uh, why not, right? Also, I wanted to do like a little story time video and see what your guys' thoughts on me doing that would be. I think I would rather talk about cooking kind of fails and blunders. We all do it. Okay, we all ruin something from time to time. I <laughs> certainly do. It's important to recognize that Although YouTube is a place of like fun and creativity, it's also kind of a, a place of unrealistic goals. You know, everyone's got these gorgeous kitchens and houses, um, great lighting and they're making a cake. But it's important to note that in real life, things go wrong. Cooking 
goes wrong all the time. Face masks go wrong when you're literally melting in front of everyone. This is what it looks like in person. So just ever so slightly crazy. For instance, recently I was going to do like a beignets, um, which is like a type of light, fluffy French donut video, and I burnt them all and they were all misshapen. It just completely went wrong. And it's not fun when you put into the effort of making donuts, but I am someone that's very self-critical and things go wrong and you can always get back up. So I feel like that's the message. Those damn donuts. A moment of silence for the burnt donuts. <laughs> I also hate wasting food. So I was very frustrated to say the least that I'd taken the time to video these donuts that you have to put in a proving drawer or cupboard and make sure that they rise to a certain level and then you put them, beat them out, form them into a shape, then prove them again. And the fact that I'd gone through like hours at this point of making this video for them to be burnt and I didn't want to put it out. I mean, it could have been funny, but maybe it'll go into one of the blooper videos one time. But cooking can be salvageable. You know, I'd say probably the only cooking mistake that isn't salvageable is over-salting. But even that, I have a solution. So say you're making soup or something and you've put too much salt in it, it tastes like the ocean. I would suggest making double the batch. So whatever you have, double it, not the salt though and just add in more veg, add in more tomato, chopped tomatoes, more stock, low sodium stock, maybe just water actually. Because you're doubling the volume of everything else, the salt should spread through and taste better. But usually things in cooking are salvageable, you know? If something's burnt, just call it caramelized. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of the master chefs in the world are doing that, so why not? But especially in this time of like social media and stuff, you know, with the pressure to be perfect all the time, or at least convey the best version of yourself, isn't necessary. Despite the fact that we try our best, it's okay to let your ass hang out a little bit sometimes and just kind of go with the flow and freestyle it a little bit. This entire video today, actually. By the way, you should leave this mask on your face for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's just supposed to sit there for a little while, you're not supposed to leave it until you've got like this kind of dry mask on your face. It will remain wet the entire time you're doing it, just so that you're aware. <laughs> I can't. That is not the recommended way of taking off the mask, but it wasn't bad. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna have a go at getting this green gook off my face. And I'm expecting to look. This is a biodegradable wipe, by the way. Yes, they are available. I'm expecting to, you know, frog into a prince moment, right? But yeah, as always, it's important to remember that when you're vulnerable, and you show the kind of mistakes you make. Usually people fall in love with that a lot more than being perfect all the time because being perfect all the time is not relatable at all and we all make mistakes. I'm not buying all these kind of cooking shows where everything turns out perfect all the time and I'm sure behind the scenes things are going wrong. Okay, that's all of my skin now. Um, how do I look? I forgot to mention earlier, when you're putting on a mask, avoid your eye area and usually your lip area, but this is fine because it's all edible and organic. And my skin feels kind of dewy and nice and I guess kind of moisturized. It feels very smooth, so that's good, right? I guess what I'm trying to say is give yourself a break. I mean, it's 2020 already. There's a lot at stake. There's a lot at play. There's certainly in terms of mental health a lot going on and I just wanted to say that to just take a moment and laugh with others, laugh at others <laughs> and laugh at yourself. Really just find the funny in any situation. If you don't have to cry, laugh. Just enjoy those moments and make a memory out of it. Because it's those moments when we bond with other people, we fall in love with other people and we get to see people's 
silly side and, and the fun side of them. We all make mistakes. As long as we keep our heart in the right place, make sure that we are standing up for what's right and justice and minding our own business at the right times, I think we're pretty much on the right track. Okay, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to do a kind of a quick semi-story time, a little bit of a message and life hack video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you honestly so much for watching if you've made it this far. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you saw. If not, just keep on moving. It's no hard feelings. Comment down below. I'll put my social medias down there and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.